Hello. Today we're going to use the online conductor app in standalone mode. This mode is different from the online mode because it doesn't use any of the app's online features. So you load a video in and you can record to it. You'll see exactly how that works. It's nice and simple. So we're going to get started. Now we're going to record today the drums for Little Drummer Boy. And of course that means we're missing one ingredient. So now we've got our Christmas jumper. Uh, we're going to sound so much better because we're wearing Christmas jumper. Uh, we're going to get to it. Now Helen, my friend Helen, has sent me uh, this video in WhatsApp. Now, WhatsApp is a great way to send these sorts of videos because you can use WhatsApp from the computer, web.whatsapp.com, and you can just drag a video in. Or more likely, you filmed your initial conducting guide video or whatever you're recording to, in this case the piano, on your phone and you just send it on. I wouldn't advise using WhatsApp when you've sent your finished video to be compiled by the video editor because it compresses it. But more about that a little bit later. So let's give it a go. Um, now I'm going to cl click this video and I'm going to click save. Now WhatsApp is saying you've already saved this video Seb and that's because I've done a practice run. You'll see a few of my practice videos in a minute. So I'm going to press cancel because we don't need that. I'm going to wing over to the online conductor app and you'll be presented with this window. So we want to select the video from our phone. Now it's going to populate the list of all the videos and those are the aforementioned practice videos. Just making sure it looks good for you all before I committed to putting it on YouTube. So when you use this feature of the app, it orders the videos by date in which they were taken. So because Helen made this video a few days ago, I have to scroll back to some of the other videos I've made. So here it is. Can you see it? That's Helen playing the piano. It's like the one we saw in WhatsApp. Um, so here we go. I'm going to press start. You're about to see me through the phone. So I'm just going to make that window nice and small. So I'm going to press next. There we go. You can see me through the phone now. Uh, I'm going to put the phone in this little tripod I've got. Uh, it's just a simple clip with a, a little tripod. This one's made by Manfrotto. I highly recommend it. It's been very useful in lockdown where I've had to make lots of videos. So I'm going to just wheel over. I'm on a wheelie chair. It's wheelie good. And I'm just going to make sure that everything I want to be seen can be seen. So I'm going to just get a bit closer, I think. There we go. What do you think? I think that's going to be OK. So I'm going to put my headphones on. And then I'm going to press start recording. So here we go. Here we go. And there we are. It is really as simple as that. So you could see there at the end that Helen was slowing down. And what was a really helpful way to communicate is that I could watch her hands while still looking at the camera. If I had Helen's video on, say, my, my Mac over here and I was filming down here, I would be looking up to try and get it in time. But using the online conductor app, I could stay looking at the camera and I could communicate with the audience which is really important. There we go. So I'm going to check that the video's there in photos. So I'm going down. Now, obviously, there were a few practice ones there before, but uh, this is the best one, I think. Very good. It's there. 
The best way to send a video is by WeTransfer. So all you have to do is go to the internet and put in www.wetransfer.com and head there. Now the reason this is good is because it doesn't compress the videos. I said it earlier and I'll say it again. Messaging services, things like iMessage, when you send a video on iMessage, it wants to make it smaller because when it's smaller, it can send it easier. You don't have to worry about uploading massive amounts of data. So we transfer transfers that in a way that doesn't compress it. It's free, it's really easy to use. I recommend you do that. Send a file, add your file, photo library. And then I'm just gonna to go to the most recent one because I know it's there. Uh, I'm gonna go, I don't want to add a message because I'm sending it to me. Uh, I'm gonna email it to myself, mailbox at onlineconductor.com. And I'm gonna click transfer. Now I'm gonna pop over to my emails to see what the code is. And the code is 706040. I'm gonna press send and that will upload and send. It really is as simple as that. I can now put my phone down. I could go and make a cup of tea, go make the dinner, um, whatever. It is worth noting that upload does take a while. So please don't worry about that. It is the nature of the beast. So I think we have it there. That is the online conductor app in standalone mode. Enjoy and have a happy, happy Christmas. Bye-bye.